Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey everybody, I'm Chris Perillo, and this is your Geek Out for Wednesday, August 1st, 2012. Our Geek Out is brought to you by GoToAssist from Citrix. You can take control of your IT world from one simple cloud-based platform. GoToAssist Proactive Alerting allows you to fix small issues before they become big problems. And for a free 30-day trial, visit GoToAssist.com, click the Try It Free button, and use the promo code Perillo. Should you root your Android phone or tablet? You could. I mean, you bought the piece of hardware. You should be able to do with it whatever you want to do with it. And that is the advantage of the Android platform, is that it can be modified by anybody to be, well, anything that Android could possibly be with the code that is within Android or placed on top of Android. And you could root your device, and that would be placing it in your control. Well, kind of. I mean... You're still limited by the code that you're using. You could use someone else's code rather than the code that shipped with the device. And are you confused? Most consumers are. I mean, you just buy the product you expect it to work out of the box. Now, some geeks want to modify everything. Oh, I want to own it and root it and do this to it and control. Yeah, you can control it. But how many people out there can actually develop for the products that they buy? Not a lot of you. I mean, there are some. And there's an advantage to that. Uh, and, and certainly, I would say that if you can tweak something, sure, why not? Why wouldn't you tweak it? But for the average consumer, I, I just don't know if rooting is really for them. I mean, I'm rooting for them. Looking for an alternative to Groupon? I'm not. I, I'm happy with whatever service wants to feed me coupons. In fact, those who've watched my vlogs know that I like saving money. I won't necessarily spend money to save money. Uh, but I'm on the lookout for any legitimate program that would allow me to get what I want and yet save money in the process. I mean, why would you turn down, let's say, a $20 bill? Uh, someone came up to you and say, hey, you're going to do this anyway. Would you rather save $20? Who would say no to that? You'd be crazy. How to make your desktop computer look cooler. I remember the first PC that I built with my two hands. Actually, I think I, I used someone else's hands too. I mean, with their permission and everything, they helped me do the first one. And uh, the thing that was uh, most exciting was finding a case that I loved. And I'm not much on glitz uh, when it comes to uh, most, uh, I guess, devices. I just want something that's plain, simple, and, and that works. And that's pretty much what I got. I got this uh, huge case. It was gigantic. Granted, this was back in the day where you really didn't have a lot of smaller form factors in terms of options with desktop computers. But you can make that desktop computer of yours, or a new desktop computer, and you can trick it out. It doesn't have to be the way that you see it in the advertisements that you might be ignoring anyway. Bottom line is there are many modifications you can make to your PC. Uh, everyone's going to have their favorite mod, right? I, I think my, uh, if, if I were to do it again uh, th these days, uh, I, I would still go to that case. I would want that case to be reflective of my personality, whatever that personality happens to be. And, and of course, I like things that glow, so I'd probably you know, trick it out with lights and whatnot, LEDs. Uh, which we didn't have back then. We had to put candles. That's how long ago it was since I last built a PC. We had candles to uh, illuminate. Didn't really work out uh, as well as I think the industry hoped that it would. Uh, we're happier with LEDs. Have you modded your PC? What is your favorite mod for a PC? Where to find internships? Internship programs. That's the name of the product, internship programs. I've been asked if I have internships available here at Locker Noman. I, I kind of do, but the internships that we have are more for the people who are older than some of my audience. Uh, we've had interns at Locker Noman before. Uh, some of them have worked out very well. Uh, others, I wish they would have worked out better. Uh, but Either way, you know, we're always open to helping foster the growth and development of people who have promise. I don't care where you live. I don't care how, how old you are. The age is not really a, a limiting factor. It's just that for us to get business done, we have to be dealing with people who are also wanting to get business done. Uh, people who would normally have to go out and seek summer employment elsewhere, or maybe even employment in the winter. Uh, I mean, we, we were all at one point in time in need of being an apprentice, or certainly I would hope you would want to be an apprentice to possibly help a business do what it needs to do. Um, you know, I, I, uh, I am always on the lookout uh, to work with new people, 
Uh, every day, I always look for those opportunities. And many of them, I gotta admit, come by way of uh, YouTube. And many of them are young, uh, still in college or about to enter college. Uh, some of them I've communicated with when they were in high school and they were able to do work with me. So, um, yeah, I guess age doesn't really have anything to do with it. It has to do with maturity level and, more importantly, your existing experience and your potential for growing. Your promise. Oculus Rift promises to bring virtual reality games to the masses. Where have I heard this before? I mean, yes, virtual reality is nothing new. In fact, uh, this is a new Kickstarter project. Uh, you see right there? There's, there's what it looks like. I'm not a huge fan of virtual reality. And maybe it's just that I, I didn't have the right tools or the right construct or the right um, implementation of virtual reality. It just, to me, kind of seems gimmicky, like 3D. I mean, it's fun, but, uh, you know, day in and day out, it just gets a little bleh. Uh, still, it's good to see that the world is not abandoning virtual reality. Uh, I have a problem with my own reality, let alone some virtual one. But this is a project that you may be able to back right now. And uh, if you don't feel like your back is, you know, against the wall, you don't have to back it if you don't want to. Uh, but has anybody out there, and I'm curious to know your experience, has anybody had a really good experience with virtual reality? I guess I just find it lacking. I don't know, maybe Oculus Rift will make a believer out of me yet. Windows 8 has reached the RTM milestone. It's ready, but you can't have it yet, at least not officially. It's coming later this year, and I'm certainly looking forward to it. I wanna see all the options out there before I make up my mind. I've, uh, I've I swear, every other day talked about Windows 8, and I have to repeat my pers- Well, I know, I told, I'm not gonna say it again. Fine. I think Windows 8... Well, let me finish at least. It bifurcates the user experience. There, I said it again. Windows 8 doesn't know what it wants to be. I mean, it'll be good, kind of, in some ways and, and not in other ways. They, they've optimized it for everything. Seriously, Windows 8 is optimized for everything. I... Can you do that with an operating system? I mean, the same experience on everything. I want to get my hands on a Windows 8 tablet. I do. I want one. And I'm hoping the price will be right. Amazon Instant Video for iPad released for Prime subscribers. Uh, and so now, if you didn't realize that you had access to Instant Video on Amazon, it may be easier if you have an iPad. Of course, many Kindle Fire owners already knew that they had access to this content because Amazon made it uh, simple with the Kindle Fire modification of the Android platform. You could watch it in a desktop browser uh, on, on Amazon.com, but you know, a lot of people own iPads. Like, a metric crap ton of people, and I, that's not an exact measurement, uh, just a lot of people own iPads. So this is long overdue. Diana's primary computing experience is with her iPad. She uses Netflix. And I told her, I'm like, hey, download this. We already have a Prime account that we share in the house that's legal. And Amazon says you can do that. With, I think up to, what is it? Three to five other people in your house. Uh, so now you can watch movies on demand like Mission Impossible 3, SpongeBob SquarePants, which isn't a movie, uh, a whole bunch of TV series, including Arrested Development. And so if you have not yet watched Arrested Development, you should on uh, your Prime subscription. If you already had one, you may be spending money on stuff that you're not experiencing right now. Get the app, it's free. The new dig.com has launched. Look at that. It's dig version one, according to the icon in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, you log in with your Facebook account, which I think is smart. I log into a lot of websites uh, using the Facebook account. And you know, I gotta tell you, uh, I like it. I like it a lot, it's very visual. Uh, it's easy to go to, uh, read, scan, etc. Uh, OS 10 Snoop Lion from Apple. Oh, cool. I guess Apple's working. No, it's probably a facetious story. Uh, but anyway, take a look. Dig.com. That's D-I-G-G -G for those of you who weren't around when Dig officially launched the first time. And it was completely different than the way that they're going to be developing Dig now. And I say congratulations to the Dig team. I've signed up. Can't wait to use it. I hope that some of the stuff that we publish online is interesting enough to make it to dig. Homeland Security is issuing its own DMCA takedowns on YouTube. Yikes. Um, wow. I, 
I, I hope this is not the beginnings of Big Brother. I think some would say that it is. And I wonder what Alex Jones is saying about this. He's probably yelling about it right now. Does that guy ever not yell about anything? Pass the potatoes! I need the potatoes! I, I don't know. I don't know the guy from Adam. Or Alex, for that matter. Why Combinator backed Instacart wants to be Amazon with one hour delivery. Cool! Uh, I would pay extra if I knew that I could get something in an hour or less ish. I mean, I could do that anyway. I mean, if I went to the store, but just not spending the time going there and parking. Uh, how much is your time worth to you? I mean, if your time's not worth a lot, well, you probably need to be doing something else. My time's worth a lot. Like, the time that I'm spending with you, it's not worth as much as I would like it to be, but I'm working on that. Hey, Chris asks Matthew on YouTube, what do you think about Google pushing back the consumer release of the Q? Remember seeing this little orb media thing at the recent Google I.O. developer conference in San Francisco? Um, yeah, it's, uh, I, I, I'm not shocked. It, it didn't even look like a finished product when they showed it. I'm like, okay, wait, 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 let me get this straight. You want me to spend hundreds of dollars on a ball that allows me to push media to places. Okay, I, I, I can do that for far cheaper. On LockerGnome.net, Fish writes, what do you think of Mac OS X Mountain Lion? Well, I think it's not an operating system. It's just OS X Mountain Lion, being the, the revision of OS X. They call it Mountain Lion. There's no more Mac OS X. They dropped the word Mac from OS X. It's, I know, it's kind of the habit that we all got into. Uh, I think it's been an outstanding release. I haven't run into any major snags with it. A lot of uh, polish, certainly, has gone into everything that they instituted before. Uh, you know, if you're familiar with OS X, you're familiar enough with OS X Mountain Lion. It's 20 bucks for all the Macs in your whatever. On LockerGnome.net, the Geek Panel writes, what's your favorite font or typeface? You know, I make fun of it now, but my favorite used to be Comic Sans MS. I'm not even kidding. I, I, uh, I look back upon that time in my life as a very dark uh, period. Uh, it was unique back in the day, and now it's uh, abused. Uh, not a fan of Times New Roman or the Times Family. Uh, gosh, favorite font? I like the Intellivised font, the font that was used with the Intellivision. Remember that old game console? That, that's my favorite, I would say, at this time. My fave. On LockerGnome.net, DJ Scooby-Doo writes, Why doesn't Instagram let people upload pictures via their computer? <laughs> A little bit of trivia, by the way. Uh, one of the newly made millionaires, uh, after the Instagram billion dollar acquisition by Facebook, used to work for LockerGnome. That's a true story. You know what else is a true story? I'm done. We'll see you later. Pass the potatoes! I need the potatoes!